creating a MIDI trigger. So when a message comes in, um, you can make it do something else. All right, so let's add the MIDI, whoops, MIDI generic. Okay, let's make sure we get the right version here. 1.15, yes, that's the right one. Okay, I'm going to use um, an AC driver bus to talk to it. Save. And we can just check that we're actually seeing messages. So if I do a MIDI note on uh, let's say um, note 20 at velocity 20. Okay, so channel 0 Note 20, velocity 20. So it looks like it's receiving in good shape. Okay, so let's do this first, just to make sure we do see everything coming in. We'll add a MIDI in and a MIDI out indicator. And then when I send it a message, you see the MIDI in, so we know that it's receiving a message without actually looking at the, at the log. Okay, so we're going to have another button that we're going to make uh, light up when there's um, when a particular specific message comes in. So we'll make it this one here. I'll just create a button and we'll just call this uh, test. Okay. And next, we're going to make a trigger. Let's add a trigger. Call this note. Uh, 2020, let's say. Okay, so for events, we're going to do variable change. And the variable we're going to watch is MIDI data incoming. So anytime a new piece of MIDI data comes in, it's going to run this specific trigger. So that means any MIDI message, no matter what it is. But we only want it to trigger when there's... Um, a specific note. In this case, we'll say note 20, velocity 20. So let's add a condition here and we'll call it variable check value. All right, so which value are we going to do? Let's do last message received, okay? And we'll make it equal to, and we don't really know what the value is, so let's take a look at the variable itself. Go back to buttons, variables. Um, so the last couple messages I sent were note on messages. So let's take a look at that. So generic MIDI last message, last message received was note on. So let's copy that value. I don't want to copy the mess, the variable name. So I'm not using, using this copy button. I'm going to copy the actual value. Okay. So then I'm going to go back to the triggers. And that's the value I want it to be equal to. Note on channel one, um, note 20, velocity 20. So you don't really need to know what that is. You just want to send it the message so that you have it in the last messages. Um, then we're going to add a condition where we're going to, whoops, not a condition, we're going to do an action. So let's do an action where we set the background color of Let's see what button was that? That was button 203. Okay, so button, let's do button 203, 2 slash 0 slash 3. Whoops, slash 3. And it shows you here that that's the right buttons, button test. But I want to change the background color to something, something else. Now, just so we know that it actually happened and it's going to happen each time. Um, I'm going to add another action that turns the color back again so that you can see that each time the message comes in, it, it's going to uh, it's going to trigger this. So the the only reason I'm doing this is if it's already purple, changing it, having the message come in and change it to purple again isn't gonna isn't gonna do anything. So I'll just have it automatically change it back. So just copy that. Let's add a thousand milliseconds. So and then we'll make the background color black again. So once I enable this, theoretically, when I send it a MIDI um, note on message, it should change the, um, the value. 
to change the background color from black to purple. And then it'll automatically by itself after a thousand milliseconds, after one second, it'll turn black again. So let's give that a try and see what happens. All right, turn purple and I turn black. So we can see how that looks on the, on the buttons here on 20, oops, 20, 20. Okay, so it went purple and went off again. So if I give it a different message though, let's say 21, 20, nothing happens. If I give it, uh, 20, 21, nothing. Okay. Some other type of message like an off, 20, 20, nothing. Okay, so it only works on 20, 21. All right, last message received 21, 21. So, whoops, what did I do wrong? Oh, 2020. <laughs> whoops, on 20, 20. That's the one. Okay, so every time it comes in, it will fire that trigger. So the key to that trigger again is just making sure that it triggers every time the variable changes and the variable is um, the MIDI data incoming. Um, if you make it this variable here, the last message, it won't work because the last message might be the same as the previous message. So you want it to do it every time there's a new message, regardless if it's the same message or not. So hopefully that's helpful and you can use that. Any questions, any problems? Hit me up on the floor. Thanks.